We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it is a special, special day. Luminary Sounds, the infamous Luminary Sounds. That's right. Junior mm-hmm. Leto, Francois, the great Missy Talks in the building. That's right. Um, we have a special guest today. I think I almost killed their ears just now with doing, hey. I know, I know. I, I have, I'm about to turn you down for a second. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Good. It's all right. No, we have uh, Adelise. 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 See, I oh, knew oh, I was oh, going to oh. mess it up. Uh-oh. I knew I was going to mess oh, up. I was, I was we ready to do this Boy, what you, boy, what you talking go ahead, about? Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead, Missy. Well, just we, take... uh, Luminary Sounds, everyone that's listening, we have Adelise and Emma. They're from the Santa Clara Elementary School. Hey. And you're welcome. And they're here to talk about an event that's coming up. Yeah, thank you for having us. So um, I'm Araceli Paulo. I'm second grade teacher and vice principal over at Santa Clara. And I have a my partner here, Emma Garcia, who's our fourth grade teacher. Uh, and the, the, uh, you, your bodyguard. My bodyguard. Your bodyguard's yeah. here. So okay. I brought, right. I brought my pregnant muscle with <laughs> okay. me. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Mama bear. You yeah. watch out for them. <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, but we just came. You know, we wanted to give you guys uh, extend our welcome and invitation to our annual Santa Clara Elementary School Carnival, which will be taking place on uh, Sunday, October sixteenth, from okay. eleven to six p.m. Okay. Um, this is one of our biggest fundraisers. Oh. So any community support is welcome, and we invite everybody, whether you are alumni, whether you have children at the school, or parishioners, or just anybody in the city to come in that's uh, awesome have a good time we have live entertainment we have tons of food um i think everything from tri-tip and strawberry shortcake what? and okay. we have a beer garden for a you know parents garden. too so uh okay. you let your kids play at the games and go have a you drink had, we you have had that me, you had me at beer <laughs> <laughs> i'm showing up you had me at tri-tip right <laughs> right uh plenty of games for the kids there's face painting there's cakewalks there's raffles okay so it's a day of just like a lot of a lot of fun now so, is this it go ahead how long has the carnival been in in play uh, well so i've this 46 annual wow 46 yes. 46 46 years wow yes. that was my question yes 46, 46 years, years. Yeah. wow I was we weren't like even 10. around at that time <laughs> no well the school opened up in what 1901 i believe mm-hmm. so yeah. 46 years they started the carnival wow, so it's been an annual thing so okay. especially after the pandemic and everything it's back and we're expecting to have a lot of fun and so what what did i hear um before about that it well, used to be three days and now we've condensed it to one yeah we used to have three mm. days but now it's like more i feel we get more of a turnout when there's one day sometimes just trying to plan it out for three days it's kind of it's a big event to it's try a to big plan. event yeah so how many people are you expected to have typically well we have 240 students now so okay. we usually invite all the families to come sometimes they invite their extended family we all open right. it up to the parishioners of the church and just the whole city of Oxnard and anybody else that wants to come over. I mean, so a big event. as far as this year, are there any new additions to the carnival that have not been in the carnival in the past? Could be maybe the entertainment. I don't okay. have the list on the me on that. Okay. Oh, right. that's right. We do have a dunk tank this year with oh. teachers oh, and principal. Tank. I'm All in right. that. Are you, are you in the tank? I will be the first one in. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> wait to show up. <laughs> so we have. I'm about to get followed. <laughs> We have teachers and the principal will be in there as well. So uh, okay. I think the kids will get a kick out of that. All right. Oh, that, that sounds yeah. like fun. Now, who's the most popular between you and the principal? Oh, it'd be the principal. She okay. was there So for, we got to dunk her. Oh, we have to. We got to get her out the she, way. She, okay. she passed the bucket and sent me today. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. So I know she's listening. So Mrs. Lozano, uh, Ooh, we're promoting your dunk tank. <laughs> <laughs> she was a teacher there. for. She's been there for 16 years. And this is wow. her second year as principal. Good for her. So, oh, yeah, awesome. our previous yeah. principal retired after 45 years of being principal there. So wow. She's stepped in and it's uh she's making a lot of great changes in the school Good including technology and stem labs and a That's lot of awesome. new activities for the kids so well look at that it should be fun that led to two ladies running the running the school a right? president or not president <laughs> a v- principal and vice, vice principal, principal yeah mm-hmm. That's so exciting. it should be a lot of fun uh, we also are always looking for help obviously we're a private sector so we are not this our school is not funded by the government oh, okay. so any um, sponsorship or anything donations it's, donations are greatly appreciated where can they go to to support with donations is there a website they can go to they can actually uh, go right into our school office and we have two ladies in the front uh, miss Marcia and miss Carolina they are there to help and there are about two three about five packages that they can choose from that includes oh. their banner promoted on the side of the school we do a lot of community promo um, 
uh, promotions, like uh, giving uh, publicity, I'm sorry, community okay. publicity. Mm -hmm. So with their sponsorship, that helps the school, obviously helps the kids, new programs for, this, for the kids as well. We just got a whole new PE program. So any sponsorship helps helps the school so they can inquire in the office and pick a package or even just make a donation and or even donate time well you seem like you have a passion for it so what is it about you know your field and what do you love about what you do you know I started working in a public school and I ended up getting my first job there at Santa Clara and I have to say that the community feel and family feel of the school is huge they would there Santa Clara has a long legacy of um, academic excellence and athletics and just the teachers that are there I can honestly say I enjoy working with every single person that I work with we wow. have um, we have 10 teachers so it's one teacher per every uh, grade so it's a small school but just we we know the kids on a one-to-one -one name basis uh, there's not one kid in the school that we don't know what their name is so they're not just a number for us wow. they we are a family we continue with um, we create relationship with the family with uh, the, the children and even like my first class there just graduated eighth grade and I still have I, some of their parents I follow on Instagram. So we've, wow, become, cool. we've all become a close knit family there. So I think the community feel, the family feel, that even makes an event like this even more special because it's a time where you see alumni come back. You right. see some of our kids that have been now there in college and come back for because they know the carnival's there. So when they come see the teachers and now that they know they can dunk them, probably oh, even now, more oh, so. Of course. But, uh, now that's good so, going down. Yeah, I'm so, ready for that. And yeah. I think that's a big thing that you brought up the alumni because that's the reason why the alumni turnout is so impressive exactly because of the attention that is given to those kids at such an early age they don't forget that right and emma here she went to school there so okay. now she's back as there a teacher so we have i think what half of our staff are previous santa clara alumni wow so the Amazing. fact that they come back i think that speaks volumes as to the the feel and the the community feel we have in the school i so, love it so so bodyguard bodyguard real quick <laughs> real quick bodyguard what yeah. do you love about the school um, I just love that it's one big family. Okay. Um, I grew up there. It's like my second home. Um, my son is in TK now, so. He goes there. Yeah, yeah he goes there. So mm. it's, I mean, there was no question when, as the minute I was pregnant, I'm like, he's going to Santa Clara. Oh, that's <laughs> the, awesome. The second one's coming, she's going to Santa Clara. So, you know, it's just the community feel. It's a big family. Everybody takes care of each other. And that's it's, awesome. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, so well. when you were younger and when you were going to the school, did you like, have hopes of we well, you know one day i'm gonna come back and teach and i'm gonna run the the <laughs> festival the way i want to oh, oh that's, no, no, that's, no. That's, that's interesting i, I no. like that <laughs> i don't want any position of authority um i, I love not teaching the no 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 that is not for me um i love being in the classroom i love working with the kids um and i don't think i knew i wanted to teach um and i knew i always wanted to go back there so mm -hmm. that's just kind of like me living my dream. So. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's and awesome. I also have to give a big shout out to our parents club board because if it wasn't for them, this carnival would not be happening. So they're the ones shout who are, out. yeah, they're the ones setting up um, the the booths, the people who are running it. Um, and we have all the parents are the ones working the hours. So volunteering. Volunteering, yeah. Wow. I mean, they're coming in, they're working those hours. They're even like her and some other of our, our teachers who have children there as well. They're working their parent hours and they're working their teacher hours. So wow. it's a, it's a big collaborative effort. So, but definitely big uh, ups to the uh, to the parents club board for putting all this together and making sure that they have everybody working the booths and setting up what they want and trying to make it as fun as possible, not only for the kids but for the adults as well. Do you so. think that family atmosphere has been the reason it's been going on for over forty years? Oh, definitely. Okay. I, mm. Yeah, that, like I said, the families even because the kids once they're like I said, there's one grade, one classroom for every grade, so the kids move on together, so they're there's no way that they're not going to form a familial relationship with each other if they start together since kindergarten and end together in eighth grade so the, their families become families so and then they're you know word of mouth like hey my kid comes here you should bring your so it's just word of mouth and just the the love that they have for the school and they see that you know we have love for genuine love for their children it's i always tell them you know your kids are our kids when they're with us and right. they're going to be our kids even right. through graduating here but so it's just I think it just creates an even bigger success when you have all these people genuinely working together because they genuinely want to work together. Right. So. One thing that I definitely want to know before I know you all um, leave us mm -hmm. here is I know what you all are doing is so special and it's so special to the point where has any other schools reached out to your school and said, hey, what you all are doing is very unique. We love it. Can we collaborate with yeah. you all? 
Well, I know that all the private schools in the archdiocese, they're all in content communication. So <laughs> it is a collaborative effort. And sometimes they feed off of ideas with each other. Okay. So it's not one school like it's like, oh, Santa Clara right. or St. Anthony's or Our Lady of Guadalupe. We're all one family, whether That's cool. it's distinctive schools or, or not. But we all are in constant communication with the other schools. So they I'm pretty sure they all have their different events as well. But it's not like a competition. That's, or, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So where can people go get more information about the carnival? Uh, they can go to the Santa Clara Elementary School, which is at 324 South E Street, right across from the Big Red Church, Santa Clara Big uh, Red Church, Church, right there on 3rd <laughs> and, and E. Okay. Um, they can speak to the school office. They also have pre-sale tickets. So everything is sold by ticket. So uh, food games everything is on a ticket basis you buy mm. all your tickets there's no monetary exchange you just pay with your tickets i need a ticket for my tri <laughs> <laughs> and, and then for my a, garden yeah. beer <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also a huge raffle like uh they have big raffle prizes as well they can uh go get tickets there as well so i know mm. that they're cheaper pre-sale so if they want to go beforehand they can see the school office uh, can you give the tickets. prices um, on air or yeah, yeah so. I believe so. What are Oh, we can just make them up as we go. They have I know they have food <laughs> tickets. Yeah. <laughs> as I get fired for giving wrong information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the principal was like, I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> How are we making a profit? You're no. going to dunk me? <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know the cost. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm the only one in the dunk tank. Uh, let's see here. Where the So they have what are the food we have uh there's different sheets for food tickets and game tickets so you can buy for 20 bucks it's like you get 20 dollars worth of tickets and nice. then you use them so every every booth has a different price so maybe okay got it try tip is four tickets or a game is two tickets okay. face painting is three or whatever it is so it's done off the basis of purchase of tickets exactly that's awesome yes i'll be doing the face painting yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna pre order those tickets and, and try to right yeah and yeah. our big raffle prizes we have <laughs> our um our first prize is two thousand dollars wow second prize is a thousand third is seven hundred fourth is five hundred dollars and the fifth prize is two hundred dollars so and you do not those tickets <laughs> are each two dollars a, a ticket and you get a topper's a coupon along well that it. prize <laughs> though let's talk about that prize, prize real quick yeah that two thousand dollar prize yeah. how did you enter that you buy a raffle ticket they're oh, two dollars oh, oh, oh. they're two dollars per raffle tickets and you do not need to be present to win. oh okay so, i thought it was like yeah. a tug of war or something no. like that and you got a good chance to oh, you get geez. a slot in the dunk tank okay. no <laughs> <laughs> no so yeah you just okay. buy raffle tickets they're two dollars a ticket um you can even buy a book and um you do not need to be present to, to win. So, yeah. That's can awesome. We, can we have, like, volunteers go on the dunk tank besides the principal and the vice principal? I don't see why not. I'm Because I mean. I'm just thinking, like, if we start bets. Let's just think about herself. <laughs> um, if we start bets, like, be like, you know what? I bet I can do that dunk tank on you. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't have a good arm, though. So, I mean. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm in it. That's, that's why I'm in it. <laughs> Hey, well, oh, it, it's definitely uh, been a pleasure yeah. having you on. Uh, we hope that the carnival is a successful event. We definitely want to attend and be there as well. Of course. Uh, but we will be right back uh, in a little bit. That's right.